In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an animated subscribe button inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we first just want to begin by creating the text. So we'll go to this icon, which is the T icon, the type tool, or alternatively, you can just press T on the keyboard and we'll select anywhere in our sequence and write out the word subscribe. Then we'll just highlight that all so we can literally just select it all like this. Or if you're on Mac, you can go Command and A on the keyboard. Windows, I believe, is Control A or Control Alt and A, something along those lines. Then we'll just go over to the left here. We'll go Effect Controls and under that we've got Text and we'll just change the font. So I'm going to go for Monster App Bold. Then you can center this up if you want. You can increase the size of this. You can decrease the size of this. Then we can go down, we can change the color if we wanted to, but I'm going to keep this as white. Then we can just center this up using this button and then we'll just make sure underneath this in video, we'll make sure that the anchor point is sitting in the middle. As you can see, it's sitting underneath. So we want to bring this into the middle like this. So now you can see we've got the word subscribe in the middle of our video and it is anchor point is in the middle. So we'll go down to here, anchor point, the anchor point is sitting in the middle. Now from here, I'm just going to zoom in on the timeline and I'm just going to move this across. I'm just going to extend the duration of this over to around 10 seconds or so. And then from here, I'm just going to go to the very beginning. We'll go to video motion. We'll pull the scale down to zero and create a brand new keyframe on scale by selecting the stopwatch icon. We'll move five or six keyframes over to the right, pull this up to 130, and then we'll go maybe five keyframes to the right and pull this down to 100. So when we play this back, you can see we've got this bounce in like this. Really nice, really simple. And then we'll go to the very end and we'll pull this down to 0%. And we'll go back on ourselves, maybe six keyframes and pull this back up to 100. So at the end, this just fades away like this. So it bounces in, holds for 10 seconds and disappears again. But the problem is this is just a word animation and there's no button, there's no box here. So that's what we need to go ahead and create now. So in order to do that, we're just going to go ahead and create a new color mat. So select new item down here and select color mat. Or you can just right click in the project tab and go new item, color mat. Press OK and then just select a color of your choice. I'm going to select a soft red somewhere around here. I'm going to press OK, press OK on this. I'm going to drag the text up onto video layer 2 and then I'll drag the color mat onto video layer 1 and extend this out to the right. Now from here we can just go ahead and copy the scale animation from the text onto the color mat. So just copy that motion. We'll go command and C and then we'll paste that onto the color mat. And as you can see, that is just going to pop in as well. But the problem is we've got this weird effect happening, but that's just because the scale and the position has moved down a little bit. So from here, we can now go ahead and draw a mask around the word subscribe. So in order to do that, we can either go into opacity and select the free draw bezier tool and just draw out a rectangle like this. Or alternatively, rather than doing that, you can select the create four point polygon mask or the rectangle mask. And then you can just extend this over to the right and to the left and make sure this is sitting in position. So regardless of which option you go for, just make sure you've got this rectangle around the word. And now when we play this back from the beginning, you can see that's looking great. But the problem with this though, is there's this soft edge around that rectangle. And that's because if we go into mask one, you can see the mask feather is set to 10. If I increase this, you can see you get this really soft edge around the word. So if we pull this down to zero, it hardens that edge up. And if we zoom in to 200%, you can see there's this nice hard edge around the word. So as you can see that bounces in, holds and then disappears again. Of course, if you wanted to add a rounded edge to this, so rather than having a hard edge around the rectangle, you'd like a softer edge, then all you need to do is just decrease the size of the mask like this. 
to bring it closer into the word. And then we'll just go into mask expansion and increase the mask expansion. And as you can see, those corners are starting to round out like this. If you wanted more of a rounded edge, then you just keep expanding that mask expansion. But then, of course, you're just going to have to bring this mask in closer to the word. Like this. And as you can see, we're almost there. We just need to straighten this mask up a little. And now when we play this back, you can see we've got this really cool subscribe button now animating in and animating out. So, of course, all you have to do now from this point is just highlight both of those layers. Right click those layers, we'll go up to nest. We'll call this subscribe button. And now this is nested into its own layer, which means when we pull the scale down or we move the position somewhere, it's just going to all move over into that one position. So this means when we import our footage, you can see I can now move this onto the bottom of the screen. So this is gonna bounce up. I can just move the position down Then I can affect the scale wherever I want this to go. And now this is just going to pop up like this on the screen. Of course, you don't have to use this rounded rectangle. You can use a hard rectangle. You could create a circle mask around this. So if we go into that nested sequence, you can actually delete that mask on the color mat. So we delete mask one and we'll select the create ellipse mask tool. And we can just do a circle around the word subscribe or an ellipse around the word subscribe like this. And if we just remove that mask feather and go back to our sequence. You can see that has now changed in this nested sequence. And that's how that now sits on top of our video. But there you go. That is how you create this subscribe button animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you for watching. I really do appreciate your support. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. See you there.